hey guys so welcome back to my channel and uh, so this will be the final video that will be that i'll be showing you how the uh, now you can install the ubuntu in your virtual box so in the last uh, in the in the previous two videos i showed you the issue the black screen issue and uh, in the next video i showed you how you can make the changes in your bio setting that is required for you to launch uh, ubuntu in your virtual box if you're not uh, watch that, please go ahead and watch my uh, previous videos. I'll uh, put the link in the description. So now uh, let's go ahead with this video. So in this video, I'll I'll show you how uh, you can uh, uh, go ahead and you can launch your Ubuntu in your virtual box. So <clears throat> go to your uh, virtual box. I already have it in my system. If you don't have it, please go ahead and download it from the Google. You can uh, type in uh, virtual box and. Uh, <clears throat> it should uh, uh, you can go to the downloads page and from there you can download the virtual box depending on the uh, host that you're using whether you're a windows user a linux solaris or mac user you can download based on your <coughs> requirement so here what i'll do is i'll go to new i'll uh, type in my uh, name a username uh, user specific name so these are selected by default you don't have to make any changes and uh, the rest of the settings i'm going to keep it default i'm not going to change anything and uh, let's create so here you will need to so this is 64 bit so this is not going to work let me go and remove this and so ubuntu and i'll select 32 bit the next 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 Pretty much uh, the same thing you don't have to change anything now once this is created go to settings and go to storage click on this empty and select the ISO image that you have downloaded of your Ubuntu so I have uh, 32 bit and 64 bit I'll go ahead with 32 bit and just click on ok and click on start so hopefully this should work this should uh, this should resolve the black screen issue so let's just wait and see what's happening so let's just wait okay <clears throat> this is working let's give it a couple of minutes and this is where it was hanging previously now let's see if yes it is working now so in the previous videos if you go and refer you should you should be able to see that you know this part where you are seeing this ubuntu 16.04 was not working uh, basically it was only showing the black screen with the cursor mark and it was not uh, doing anything else so uh, so now it is working fine and now you know you will you'll have to follow the regular process to install your ubuntu os in your virtual box so let's wait for some time, let it complete all the configurations in the backend and then will show you okay so everything is happening so let's wait for it okay so for this particular video i'm not going to install one i'll just show you how everything looks the feel you can go ahead and choose the install ubuntu so basically that will install the uh, ubuntu os in your virtual box so just for this uh, video purpose i'm going to uh, try out the ubuntu to show you how everything looks so here i have it guys so I have my Ubuntu machine running in my virtual box. So here you can install it if you want and uh, everything hopefully works. Now that's my Mozilla Firefox. Let's see if that works. and yes everything is working fine so 
that's it guys so this is how you can install ubuntu in a virtual box if you're if you're if you're facing the uh, black screen issue where you're not getting anything or uh, things are not working out so you can go ahead uh, watch my uh, all the three videos so that will help you to uh, resolve the issue and uh, please let me know if you have any if you're facing any other issues you can uh, drop me an email or you can um, uh, uh, comment in the comment section i'll be happy to work on it and resolve the issue uh, that's it for this uh, video guys um, thank you please like share and subscribe and uh, that's it have a great day bye